one, uh, one tool that we have that is probably our greatest asset when it comes to recovering game is, is the use of tracking dogs. Coyotes are very efficient. Scavengers, they're gonna pick up on that trail, they're gonna catch that deer, and they're gonna pull him down, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a much, uh, much more drawn out process and, and not, as, not nearly as humane of a uh, kill if, if, we, if we go in there with a the dog, we trail it up, we dispatch the animal quickly, it's, it's a much better situation for the animal, it's a much better situation for the hunter. So um, the dog serves a great purpose in that regard. Where the deer stopped right before it went in the brush, we found a, uh, a large uh, bone fragment there, which confirmed to us that, it, that the deer was shot low with a broken leg. And so that was to us a good sign because I knew the dog should be able to trail that deer up and should be able to catch him so we can, we can dispatch the deer. Both dogs are a little bit young, so it takes them a little while to uh, kind of get lined out on these trails. We also went along and found sign ourselves and followed, we followed heavy tracks and we, followed, we found blood associated with them just, to, just for us to have confidence that the dogs were on the right trail and that they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. GPS tracking collars are one of the best innovations that have come around for, for hunting with dogs in general. And as far as tracking is concerned, it, it makes it, it is a great useful tool for us. We put the collar on the dog, we have the GPS receiver. We can sit there and we can watch the dog on the GPS. We can watch what trail he's going down. We can watch, we can see when he jumps the deer. We can see where he's on the deer. If the deer were to be dead, we could see the dog stop and we could walk right up to the location. If a dog has been hitting a certain spot over and over, we can go to that spot and we can confirm if there's blood at that spot just by using that GPS. He went about 300 yards up ahead, but then he's kind of doubled back like he lost it and he's coming back to where he, where he had been trailing now. He's about 80 yards up here now. If the deer is alive once they get there, they will start to bark and they will they will jump the deer and eventually bay the deer up and stop him. The the deer will be up fighting the dogs and and you know he's got that set of antlers and those dogs are trying to keep him at bay. So it's a dangerous situation for the dogs. They've got him bayed up, they've got him stopped, and now we just need to get in there quickly and dispatch the deer. And you know that way the dogs are safe, the deer is secured and Very, very happy. It is my dear. See what I mean about him seeing us, man? When he turned around, he saw us, and that was it. He was. Had to wait a little while. First deer? It is. It is. It's my first deer. 
Yeah, I hit him a little low and he uh, he moved quite a bit. I tracked him down and uh, got some good help from the dogs. That was actually pretty cool to see that. I'm now just wondering how we're gonna get it out of here. So this is cool, right? Can't wait to show this to my son. He's gonna be so jealous. So when Rich walked up there and saw his deer, he was he was you know very relieved, you know just very excited that that we were able to locate the deer, and you know you could tell that he couldn't wait to get down there and get his hands on him and see the deer. And when that when that shot finally came and the deer was finally finally secured, I think that was a huge sigh of relief for everybody.